Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to Springwoods Farms. It's been a while since we made a video. Got a lot of stuff going on on the channel out at the farm. And sitting next to me is my 2016 Bushhawk BH15. I got it used for a great price. Used it for a couple of years and uh, kind of neglected it. So what we're going to do over the next uh, couple of days is we're going to work out some welds. We're going to patch some stuff. We're going to get things that are just broken, not taken care of. Fix and taken care of. So if it's your first time coming out to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by to watch. Uh, the best way to help me is to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, follow along on these adventures that we're doing. And uh, hit the like, the uh, subscribe, and leave a comment. It's the best way to help me get to where I want to be. So there's nothing left to it but to do it. So let's get after it. Go. All right, before we get into the job, guys, I'm going to go over a little bit of the equipment that I've got to work with. So I'm brand new to this and I've had some good mentors show me along the way some tips and tricks on how to get stuff done. So what I'm going to be using is this Harbor Freight special, but it's a titanium. I want to say it's a 125 or a 175 that runs off a 120 AC directly from the wall. Uh, I haven't found anything within reason that I can't booger stick together yet. So I've got that basic love, basic welding set up. And really guys, this is gonna be an experiment to be able if I can see to do it myself. I figure if I've got the ability and the time, why not do it myself? So, all right, fellas, let's get along for the ride. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the stuff that's broke on here so I can give you an idea, kind of the scale of the work that we're gonna be doing. Now you're not allowed to make fun of my terrible booger welds uh, just like the rest of you guys YouTube taught me how to do something I have no formal training in this so we're gonna learn together got a lot of patchwork to do a couple places we got to cut stuff out she's seen better days I know yeah, I'm clear these are structural members. This is where it's gonna be fun, trying to get this back skirt taken care of. But I've got a plan for pretty much all of it. We're gonna get some of the stuff up here tacked back together, so. You know, it'll have that 15 foot restoration look. All right, guys, so we've got a pretty sizable crack right here. We're going to make our first pass at it of the day and see how it works out.
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grind this surface down right here where we can get the fresh metal so we can make a good contact. I'm gonna tack all of this and then I'm gonna run a good bead right there making sure I get good penetration so all of this is put back together. So YouTube, let me show you what's not the smartest thing I've ever done. It's only a hundred octane gas and diesel fuel. Let's throw sparks at it. All right, we've got a good surface here so I can make a good contact. Now we're gonna brush it up. Now I gotta get the welder set up. Cover up your fresh metal and everything that you just ground or will just rust. Doesn't matter what color you paint it.
Hey guys, welcome back. So we're working on this joint down here that had a crack all the way through it. So we've got some prep work out of the way. And now we're gonna strengthen it up. So here's what we're going to do guys, we're going to get this taken care of, that way we can have our top link centered and we're going to replace the arms with the chain. This is a... Uh Those arms are bent so bad. That there's no straightening them. We had to do some fabricating. Uh, clevises wouldn't fit. We made them fit. So now it's time to put it together. here with Springwood Farms. Uh, it's been a couple of days since we got done with the project on the bush hog. I want to apologize for how this video jumps around. I lost a bunch of footage getting everything done. Uh, it is finished. We got everything put together. Works just fine. I appreciate you guys watching today. If you would, like, comment, and subscribe. It's the best way to help out the channel. You're helping me get to places I never thought I'd get to. Uh, thank you for coming back. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys again. So we'll see you next time.